We've all been for a day out to an amazing location like this. Look, we've got a lovely place to walk, shady places to sit, trees. We've got this astonishing view going on over here. This is the Blackmoor Vale in Dorset. And on a day like today, it is absolutely fantastic. Now, well, the first thing we're going to do is to try and take a picture to record all that, isn't it? We set up our camera, we line it all up, and <laughs> what we get is a very flat, boring, and totally forgettable picture. This is because our minds and our brains create an impression of a place. For example, even though I'm facing this way, I know that I've got these trees either side of me and somewhere shady to sit, and I'm in a lovely location. But a photograph is, by definition, one-dimensional. It's flat. Now, I know there's 3D imaging coming on the way, but for now, just assume it's flat. What you can do to improve that is to use foreground to introduce an element of depth into the picture. It's illusory, but it works. What do I mean by adding foreground? Right, if I was to go and sit over here on this bench, you've still got a nice picture of me sitting on a bench, but it's still kind of flat. But if the camera comes over here, close to the bench, and uses these timber slats from here as foreground, which lead back to me, now, all of a sudden, this picture has got depth. You have a real sensation of sitting on the bench next to me, or at least that I am sitting on a bench. This bit which leads you to me is also called a leading line. Very often, elements of composition kind of join together and do two jobs at once. But this is about foreground. There is a video about leading lines in the composition section. Adding foreground to a picture is a matter of getting yourself on the move and wriggling around and aligning the elements of a picture up in such a way that there is something close into the camera and something further away to create a layered sort of an effect. One misty morning I spotted this stick in a pool and as you can see it's completely lost, very forgettable and totally flat. But there was a cobweb in the grass at the edge of the puddle. By laying down and wriggling myself about to place the cobweb in the foreground on one side of the picture and the stick and its reflection in the opposite one, it all comes together and creates a sense of depth. There are three layers of depth in this picture. The cobweb in the first layer, leading to the stick in the middle layer, and the mist, trees and sky make the background layer. Let's go and put this into practice. Here's one straight away, look. It's quite a nice view down the walkway. We've got that building and the old lamppost and the blue sky going on. But as you can probably see in the video camera, it's actually quite a flat, not particularly interesting sort of a picture. But it's really simple to add some foreground. If we just come over this way a bit, half a dozen paces, and just put a bit of this tree close into the camera and frame up the building with some of that foliage, like this, all of a sudden, it just adds an element of depth to the picture, which wasn't there before. 